Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to be planning in my Erin Condren monthly deluxe planner which I use for budget planning. We're not going to be using a sticker kit this time so I've got some glitter washi that I'm pulling out as well as some regular paper tape washi and a cute washi sample that I got in a swap. I've also got some cute stickers from the Maybe Planner sticker books and from the dollar sticker books that you can get at Michael's. I also have my scissors, my splice tool, and tweezers to help aid in this process. So first things first, things first I'm going to take some black paper tape washi and kind of cover up the orange part of the October 2018 just to kind of dress it up a bit. I'm going to lay down two strips of the black washi tape and I got out my cutting mat because it just seems to make things easier for me and I'm going to go ahead and splice off the excess I'm going to take a piece of orange glitter washi and fix that in the in between those two pieces of black washi I really do like for my spreads to glitter and sparkle I have a lot of glitter washi I buy it off of Amazon or I get it from Michaels it's just wherever I can get the better deals but I do like my spreads to sparkle and shine and glitter washi is one of the things that I have found that is just real simple and easy to use I am going to take some orange washi and black washi, that same black washi, and I'm going to use it to decorate that box. That is the last day of September. So I'm just going to make a page flag out of the orange washi and do the same thing with the black washi just make the black washi a bit smaller I'm gonna take a piece of metallic orange washi which I found in a multi-pack with several different colors at my goals last year. And I'm just gonna put it in between the orange and the black washi and cut it on a diagonal instead of in a page flag shape. Next, I'm going to take some of that trick-or-treat washi and put it underneath the word October 2018. And I'm just going to cut it straight and even. I am not going to try to make a page flag out of it because I just kind of want to keep it looking the same and not cut off any words. I took a boo sticker and added it over the little box from September. And then I took a full box from the Happy Planner sticker book that says Happy Halloween and I added it to the 31st box. Even though this is my budget planner, I still wanted to make sure that I had decorated October 31st up because it's Halloween. Next, I'm gonna decorate the top banner of the other side of the page and that sidebar box. And I'm gonna do this by taking the orange washi and putting it straight across the top and down the side. I'm 
I'm going to do the same thing with the black washi. And for this, since I want it to have nice crisp edges, I'm not going to use a um, gift card or any other or the ruler to kind of press hard and rip the tape. I'm actually going to use my splice knife or my splice blade and cut it using the ruler as a guideline. And then I'm going to take some silver glitter washi tape and just kind of finish covering up that sidebar. I'm also going to take that same metallic orange skinny washi tape and I'm going to put it in between the black and the orange just to kind of give it some shimmer and shine. Next I'm going to take some of the pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern washi that I got from the swap and put it over the black washi tape just to kind of give it a little something extra since that bottom sidebar has the glitter washi and the top doesn't. And then once I put the washi down, I made the jack-o'-lanterns look a little spooky and I kind of like that. So then I'm going to take some black washi and I'm going to cover up the bottom boxes that are the start of November. And this black glitter washi, I, I like it, but then I don't because it's very hard to, it's very hard to take off because it has this clear like cellophane backing tape, which makes it kind of hard to remove, but I find that if you get something sticky, like uh, the scrap washi that I have on the side. It helps pull up or pull off that backing tape a lot easier. So I'm gonna lay down two strips of the black washi, glitter washi tape. And once that's done, I'm going to take a piece of the orange glitter washi tape and put that in the in between the two. I find it fun and easy to kind of create your own monthly spread. I know that Etsy kits can get quite expensive. I usually choose Etsy kits that are printables. Just that way I can reuse them if I'd want to. But this is a fun and easy way for you to create a very colorful, very appropriate theme spread for your monthly section without having to go through the expense of buying an Etsy kit. A lot of these stickers and washi I've had laying around for the past year and they just sit there and do nothing. So this is a way for me to utilize the stickers that I've purchased previously when I had coupons or washi tape that I've gotten in swaps. And it's just a fun and creative way for things not to go to waste. So here I'm using some stickers from my Mambi sticker book and I'm just kind of putting them around and kind of decorating the pages just to make it look very cute. And if you find that the stickers don't stick well on that glitter washi, just take a glue runner and run it behind the sticker just to give it an extra bit of more adhesive grip. So now I'm going down and putting down some pay bill stickers. 
or some Bill Dew stickers. And these are from the Bambi sticker books. I often find these paid Bill stickers in the Bambi sticker books just kind of thrown in randomly and I never really use them as I usually use the stickers that I get from a printable kit and they already have them included or I've got them saved up from other kits that I've used and I don't really use them in my memory keeping spreads so I use them for my build do but I figured since I'm not using Etsy kit this for this video that we would go ahead and pull out those stickers from Yambi. I did pull out a couple of character stickers for the pay, pay bills uh, or payday stickers because I didn't find any in what I had already pulled out. So here I am and I'm using these uh, star flags or star checklists that I saw on the sticker pages for days that I have multiple bills due instead of just one. I figured I'd just put a little checklist and it would take care of that. And as you can see, I'm cutting down the stars for however many that I need for that day. And I find it easier to use tweezers to lay down stickers because even when I have, even though I have nails or even when I don't have nails, it just, for me, it is just so much more precise using tweezers to lay down stickers. So I'm just continuing just to lay down those gold dew stickers. And trying to kind of incorporate the same colors or colors that kind of go with the theme. And alternating them as much as I can. I really don't like it when the colors are the same right next to each other, above or across. I do like to switch up the color. So now I'm just going around and adding some of these stickers just to kind of fill up the empty spaces and to make it more festive. I find that these sticker books from the dollar sticker books from Michaels are a great way to get a lot of stickers for not a lot of money. Usually these sticker books have two sheets, two sheets for um, of the same page in the sticker book. So you get like eight pages and there are four different sheets. So usually what I do with one of my planner sisters is we go in and she buys a certain sticker books, I buy the other ones, and we will just take out a page and kind of swap pages. Like I'll get the Halloween ones, she'll get the Thanksgiving ones, and then we'll just tear out an extra page and we'll swap that way. So I'm just kind of finishing out decorating these cute little stickers in the empty boxes and I just think it makes it look very cute very festive and the fact that I didn't have to go out and buy anything to do this spread makes it even better So I'm taking these date numbers, which are printable from Beautiful Planning. And these are, um, this is a printable file 
that I just printed on my printer here at home and then I just ran it through my silhouette to kiss cut the stickers. And I kind of just wanted to make those numbers just pop out just a little bit more. And so I went ahead and I covered them with the date numbers. So this is a real simple and easy way for you to create your own monthly spread using stickers and washi that you already have lying around. I hope this video inspires you to be creative and to create a monthly spread yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it for you. Till next time, take care of you, happy planning, and always be creative.